Okay, so, yeah, talk to Bill. Looks like we'd be prepared for this. From the lab. From the lab. Yeah. Oh, did you? Oh, okay. uh, I just got right up there and said, oh, I'm sorry, man. I see that. Oh, man. I hadn't tested it. Yeah, they, they're on the, the graphics here, but you know, I'm sorry. Is that what you meant? Like the logo for the, um, like the logo that you don't do? What are you talking about? Yeah, she didn't really actually go into much detail about that with me. Um, all I know is he told me that the, the MHSAA network will go be on anything that I put up. Yeah. You know, and it's, it's not really. I can. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Okay. Well, I'm going to click on lower third and then... Okay, I see logo. Okay, we got you. I did. Cool. So I can just... Have the two lines. Yeah, you can check two lines. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, they're not in this folder with that one. I think it, 
Oh yeah, yeah. Because we would still it would be the same type of deal. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Did you say this was on the website? M I H S A. M I. Like mid, the first part of Mississippi. Yeah. And then H S double F. Right. Is this dot TV, but instead of just the M M I S S. M I S S. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is a better shot, I think, is enough. Yeah. 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 Who is it? He's a, a website uh, contact guy like Michael. Mm -hmm. It's a different Michael though this time. Ah. That Michael went out of the country. That's our Apparently, he's the only person who knew what was going on. He's out of the country? Yeah, he's out of the country. That's crazy. Alright. Maybe I'll have time to get a one or two networks and then run in there and see if he's there. You use manual zoom on this or just the uh, <laughs> on that? Zoom? Zoom. Oh, both. Zoom. Oh, I'd like to let you zoom out. Oh, this thing? Can yeah. you use it? Can I use that? Yeah. Motor control. Oh. <laughs> I should just 
brought my camera bag, man, because I have a hot shoe. Is there a way to connect it on the other side? I need tape. Uh, Where is it? That's right, in front of your laptop. And then, except for the I gotta get a piece of tape first. It's gonna be fun, dude. Oh, yeah, man. It's already, uh, it's already been a blast. Yeah, 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 dude, it's about to start. Yeah. I'm messing with the tape. Think I'll just tape to this? Because <laughs> it's not working up there, dude. What is that? I don't know. There's nowhere smooth to tape it to. Man, I'm gonna tape it to the leg. And see if it'll pan still. Oh yeah, bro. You got a shirt hmm? You got a shirt Yeah, but... <laughs> That'll pan, right? I'm not going to be panning too far. They do in the fall. I believe they usually have, like, for walk-ons and that kind of thing. They usually have Will we have time to set up before the interviews? I'm not sure when they I'm wondering have it. Which I mean, we right should, because they're session. letting us eat lunch. I mean, we can just, like, oh, yeah, do we anything. Maybe we can scarf down lunch and set up. Yeah. That yeah. looks a lot better. Call the, uh... Call the athletic office. Very professional. Look, it has to be a thing. It just, uh, didn't... <laughs> It didn't hit me at the moment. <laughs> sure, I could have made it work. Well, this time right. of year, it might be hard to catch them. But if you talk to the agent, you can call the secretary. Yeah. <laughs> then, like this, ask her. Then you can get me any information. They'll get you. They did get me. I'm sitting here like, wait, that's not going to work. That shouldn't fall. That shouldn't fall, right? Nah, that shouldn't fall. Right? Nah, <laughs> Escape. <laughs> 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 All I have is my parking thing. 
I'll call it there and set up something. Okay. I'd like to, if you, if you want to call me back. But I think when they, when they start doing the softball, you just need to have it open triangle session all the What? I'm just like, why would they not just the play out of ball? What? I bet they move it like right when I close it. I'm just Okay. 
Yeah, that's Don. Oh, well then I'm still bothering somebody. I'll just. Oh yeah. Still could be crossing the elbows. Do that. Right here. No. Yeah. We'll sit together. I'll go back to my room. Will that be okay? That's fine with me. When y'all get up. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, well, let's do it that way. Let's confuse Mr. Hinton. When you come up, you can't come up to the Okay. 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 If I'm left-handed, that way it wouldn't bother anybody. <laughs> That's right. Welcome everyone. It mean to scare you. <laughs> what an exciting day. What an exciting time. I want to welcome you to the 17th annual Lindy Callahan Scholar Athlete Banquet. On behalf of the Mississippi High School Activity Association, it is truly an honor for us today to continue to play a role 
in this prestigious event. And, and you'll know what we're talking about in a moment as you open your program and you begin to look through our recipients here today. It's quite impressive. And it's quite an honor to be here. We're excited as an education-based association representing 309 middle schools and 265 high schools in this state. That's 500 and something schools we have. And we promote athletics and sports. We promote activities and fine arts. But most especially, the academics in education, in education are more important. And that's why you're here today. The emphasis that we place on the importance of, of academics in the lives of our student athletes. And you are a student athlete in the truest sense of the word. We're here today to honor you and to recognize your outstanding accomplishments. I want you to know that you're the cream of the crop. You're the best of the best. There are only 16 students who are here today, student athletes here today, chosen out of 305 nominations that were submitted by our high schools. You are a Lindy Callahan Scholar Athlete. And when you leave here today, we'll give meaning to you to understand exactly what that means. Since this award began in 1996, we've had a total of 272 students from all different all the areas of our state who've been recognized as district winners. Eight districts in our state with a male and a female athlete selected out of those from those eight districts. So that means, and, and a lot of you, uh, I know scholars will be putting the pencil to some of those things. The 17 years times the 16 recipients, 272, and in scholarship do dollars, at $1,500 a scholarship, that means somewhere in the vicinity, Dr. Miller, of $275,000 that has been in 17 years uh, for our student athletes to further their education at the universities and, and community colleges and so forth of their choice. And I would like for us right now to applaud for that because that is quite a thing. There, there are people, and there are people here today that have been a part of the 17 years, and we're going to recognize them. And those partners and those folks that, are contrib that contribute to this banquet and to our association are here too. And we want to recognize them because without them, it would not be possible for us to be here today. So we applaud you today, student athletes, for your outstanding accomplishments on and off the field, for your efforts and the desire to be the very best. You're here for a reason and you're here for a purpose. And parents, we want to mention you today. We want to say that we know that it's 100% true 100% true that without you, that student athlete wouldn't be here today, would they? And I've got down here smile when you say that. You're supposed to laugh at that one. But we do know without a doubt the vital role that you play in the lives of, of our young people here today. So we want to say to you, parents, congratulations to you. And you're at a point right now, these are seniors, so I know... You're feeling. I had two of them that were seniors one time, and I know where you are in thinking about before long they'll not be with you. They'll be off furthering their education. So I know I know that this is an important time for you as well. But we congratulate you. There are school administrators that are here today too, and and school administrators and their teachers and I and coaches who are here today that made had a major impact, have made a difference. They make an influence, have made an influence on the minds of these young people that are here today. And we want to recognize you. And I know that right now the young people are thinking about you. Uh, the people that I, that I remember the most were my teachers and my administrators in school. So I know that it's a special time, young people, student athletes right now, for you to think about just for a minute the people who helped to make a difference 
in your life and, and are a big reason for you being here today. So we want to, to recognize them as well. I don't want anyone here to, to miss the significance of this, of this banquet, the scholarships that are being awarded here today. Uh, this is a very prestigious honor for you. Uh, we're at the top of, a, of one of the largest, tallest buildings in Jackson, and you're at the top of your peers in this state. And, and that, may, that should mean something to you. Starting today, your name's going to be associated with the past 17 years of, of about 256 outstanding young people, quality class of people who've come before you. So it's a, it's, it's a, it's a great honor, and I don't want us to miss the significance of being a Lindy Callahan Scholar-Athlete today. This banquet and this award is named after the gentleman sitting here to my left, Coach Lindy Callahan. He's a former athletic director and coach from Gulfport High School. And for, the past, and for 39 years, folks, Coach Callahan, I, we're going to talk a little more about you, but he's here with Miss Ann, his wife. This is the 17th one he's attended, I believe, Coach. That's right. Would you please stand, Coach Callahan, and, and, and Miss Ann, you can as well. So they all can see you. It's a great honor for me. I, I've been blessed the last 20 years to have a close relationship with Coach Callahan and, and his lovely wife, Miss Ann, and She's Miss Ann to me and, and, their, and their family. And if I'm correct, I, I think that these two just celebrated this year their 58th wedding anniversary. And, you know, in times now, that's a great thing. They don't know I'm going to say all of this, but, uh, but also, Miss Ann, in saying that, I always have to say that there are special crowns in heaven for Miss Ann for folks like you that can hang with Coach <laughs> Callahan for that long. He is in every sports hall of fame in this country that, that I know of. If you want to know who Coach Callahan is, and we call him Coach, he likes to be called Coach. He is in the National Federation of High School Hall of Fame. Just like your award, there, there are not very many people that are in that Hall of Fame. He's in the Mississippi Sports Hall of Fame. He is a member of the Mississippi Association of Coaches Hall of Fame. He is a member of the, the National Federation of High Schools, excuse me, the National Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association, NIAAA Hall of Fame. But the best part to me, and he's been past president of this association, the best part is that he is a charter member of the Hall of Fame class of character. He's a Hall of Fame member of the Hall of Fame class of integrity. And he's a Hall of Fame member of the class of charisma. He's, a, he's been a personal and a professional mentor to me and he's my go-to person. I had an opportunity that 20 years ago to attach myself to somebody that would help me to be who I need to be in this world. But I go to him for advice and support. He's a great encourager. Those of you that know him know that you, you, you just can't measure the volume of his commitment, his dedication, and his involvement to education and athletics over all the years, 39 years that he's had to his school and to his community and throughout this whole state. Though you can't tell it by his energy and his passion, and he may not want me to say this, but I don't care. He's in his early 80s, and he is truly an amazing guy. <laughs> Mid-80s. Mid uh, thank you, thank you, Miss Ann. And he is truly an amazing guy because he's still leading. He's still leading other people with enthusiasm, gay, and passion. And he's passionately pursuing excellence still in everything that he does. And with those things, he's still making a difference in the world around him. Does it mean something to be a Lindy Callahan Scholar athlete? 
does. Coach Miss Ann, we thank you for your years of service, for that high level of expectation that you have set for all of us, and for allowing us to continue to use the Callahan name and the name Coach Callahan as we recognize outstanding people like we have here with us today. I want to recognize some people who are here. Our, we, we don't call them corporate sponsors. We call them funding partners. We, we partner with uh, uh, our organizations that help our schools and help our young people. and We want to partner with them, and that's what we do. And We have some of those that are here today, and if you're here, I, I, and we have a list of those who said they would be here today. I'm going to ask them to stand. And they are listed, by the way, there are those listed on the back of your program uh, who have been a part of the Wendy Callahan Scholar Athlete Banquet for a, a long time. And we appreciate them. And again, these, this, this day and this event would not be possible without their continued support. Um, Again, I've, I've already recognized uh, Mr. and Ms. Callahan. Uh, we have back here uh, uh, Dr. Proctor. Would you and Ms. Proctor please stand? Dr. Ennis Proctor. <laughs> for 20 years, for, six, for 16 of these years, he was standing right here. For 20 years, uh, was executive director of the Mississippi High School Activity Association and helped found, was a founder of this banquet today and a lot of other things within our association. It's always great to see uh, you folks, and we appreciate you coming. And I know they're great friends of the Callahans as well. Uh, it, Mr. Johnny Mims, did Mr. Mims, there he is. Hey, I didn't see you come in. Would you please stand? Johnny Mims, the Executive Director of the Mississippi Association of Coaches. Thank you for coming, Coach Mims. We appreciate your support and uh, all that you do with, the, with our Coaches Association. Mr. Calvin Robinson, who is an executive uh, board member, uh, and where's Mr. Robinson? There he is, from Northwest Rankin, administrator at Northwest Rankin. We have Ms. Gay Brawls from Bank Plus, one of our partners. We appreciate Bank Plus. They're very, very involved in the Mississippi High School Activity Association and in our schools, uh, out in our communities and in this state. Mr. Mike Wilkinson, Mississippi Sports Medicine and Orthopedic. You will be hearing from both of these individuals in just a minute as they participate and help us in uh, recognizing our student athletes. Uh, Miss Becky Montgomery, Mississippi Power. Is, is Becky here? Did Becky come? Okay. Mississippi <coughs> Power. Uh, let's give Mississippi Power a hand, though, for helping us here. Mary Claire Kennison. I know I saw Mary Claire. Thank you, Mary Claire, for very involved C Spire Wireless. And C Spire Wireless is one of our sponsors and, uh, again, very much... Uh, uh, supportive of, of the efforts of the Mississippi High School Activity Association and also our schools. Um, and Adrian Sweeney, is, did, is Adrian here from Jackson State University? Okay. Uh, we appreciate Ad, uh, Adrian and as in her counseling, and she, she counsels and uh, she helps student athletes to uh, make sure that they have the, the grade requirements to continue their education and, and continue scholarships uh, out, out in our in our uh, colleges. Miss Anna Jackson, did Miss Jackson make it today? There she is. Hey, Miss Jackson, it's good to see you. Coach Jackson, from retired former athletic director of the Jackson Public Schools. What a big job. And, uh, and also at Murrah High School, Coach, I, I don't know how many state championships for basketball, but a lot of them she won. And it's good to see you, uh, uh, Coach Jackson, back there. Bill Spencer, I saw with the Claren Ledger. Bill, where's there's Bill in the back? Thank you, Bill. Appreciate you being here, and we do appreciate the Claren Ledger and all of our media that's out there. And as I mentioned, media, by the way, we're, we're, we're being webcast live right now as I speak uh, right there. And if you, some of you, we really ask you to turn your cell phones off, but if you've got grandmother or you've got somebody at home that wants to watch this right now, you're free to text. When I finish, you can text. <laughs> uh, maybe. We're excited. That's a first. That's the first time right there. So we're excited about that. We're excited about play on sports and, uh, and the relationship that we have with them. We, we try to web stream our activities as well as we do in our sports and, and athletics. Staff introductions back there, and they're very shy, but I'm, I'm going to ask them to pop up as I call their names back there. I have Mr. Lonnie Tillman. Uh, where's Mr. Tillman? Mr. Come on, Coach. you got to pop up there real quick so people can see you. 
Mr. Ricky Knees, Mr. Knees, Mr. Robert Holloway, Mr. Holloway, Ms. Diane Bruiser, Where's, there's Ms. Bruiser, Mr. Todd Kelly here at the front, Ms. Joyce Franklin Lane, there's Ms. Joyce, Ms. Mary Sheldon in the back back there, Ms. Gloria Graham, where's Gloria, Ms. Deborah Lewis, Ms. Dottie Thomas, where's Dottie, there she is, Ms. Becky Staten, and Ms. Pat Hutton. Please hope I got everybody. I get did everybody. I hope on that. I can't tell you right now. Once again, this wouldn't be happening without our staff. We have a terrific staff. We're proud of them. Proud of the effort that they always put forth in everything we do. And we do a lot. We have a lot of activities that go on there, Mr. Kirkendall. Uh, at, at this time, I want to ask, it's time for us to eat. I know you're ready for that. And we're going to have a blessing before we eat. And I'm going to ask one of our staff members, and Assistant Director Mr. Robert Holloway, if he would come up and bless our food for us. Uh, no, you've got to come up here like I do. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Move by heads. Father, we thank you for this food we're about to receive. For it serves as nourishment for our bodies and our bodies as a service to you. In your son Jesus' name we pray and we should forever believe. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Mr. Holloway. Uh, they will be serving you, so in, enjoy your lunch. And uh, and we will give some uh, instructions as soon as we finish lunch. So and go ahead and start on that salad. Enjoy. Did I did I miss you about that? Oh yeah. I, I'm sorry. I, I will give you instructions on the webcast. It's our it's our network. It's M I S S H S A A, which is Mississippi High School Activities Association. Dot TV. M I S S H S A A. Dot TV. And it will be archived as well. You can go later and and, and watch it. I told him when I saw that. This was on the floor. Okay. Oh, that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> I told him to see how he answered. When I saw that, were y'all winning? Were y'all beating yeah, somebody? Yeah. <laughs> I think we were up there for the I can't part. talk about it. See, when I said the first quarter, so they might have spiked everything. Why don't you keep going? Why don't you keep yeah, go ahead and Yeah, we, uh, I think we actually, uh, here's what we do. Uh, let's ask them to come on up. We ask their parents to stay, parents to stay where they are. That's right, because we, we think it's their parents. Yeah, uh, but ask them to come up to the front, and that's because we'll kind of. I think we're going to get pictures from here. Yeah, that's what they got. So they can kind of come up when here. You, when you yeah. call out the lunch, we'll tell Chris where he wants to. Okay. And also, I think I mean, I think we have something to do with the board time. Yeah, they do. They do that. That's right. That same point where you say, "Can you tell us what you have with you?" What guests do you have with you? Did uh, we didn't miss it. Oh, right. And Adrian Sweeney then she well, didn't she, 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 she said she was. Well, she was thinking about she did not
I've been trained to keep going. Believe me.
If I can have your attention, we'll go ahead with our program. If you would continue to enjoy your, your dessert and your meal, we're going to go ahead and uh, continue with our program. I do want to uh, introduce one more time Miss Becky Montgomery from Mississippi Power. But Becky, would you please stand all the way from the Mississippi Gulf Coast for this? So would you give her a hand? Thank you so much for being here, Becky. We appreciate you and appreciate Mississippi Power. We want to give some directions here uh, as we continue. We'd like to ask each honoree that when his or her name is announced to come to the front of the room to be congratulated uh, by Coach Callahan and to receive this award. Uh, photographs will be made at this time. We do have a photographer and we will be over on this side in this space um, to, to my left. We will then ask our students to introduce their guests to have accompanied them today to the banquet. Mr. Chris Todd, who's taking the pictures, um, you want to say it? Where's Chris? You, you want to say a few words? It's what it tells me to say, Chris. It will say a few words about the pictures and uh, how, he, how he wants recipients to line up. Hey, Pay attention, please. When your name is called, um, Coach Don, you're going to be in the picture, too. Okay. Coach Callahan and Coach Hitton will be right here, and you will be between the two of them. I will be there. Click, 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 and you're done. Remember that after the banquet, we're going to shoot a group photo. That's where we shot the individuals and the family photos. So don't leave before we get you together to get that one group photo. Thank you, Mr. Todd. We will remind you of that at the end. And also, these pictures will be emailed to the 16 uh, recipients. We have your email address. And finally, just to, uh, and he said that. At this point, I'd like to thank Gabe Brawls of Bank Plus and Mike Wilkinson of Mississippi Sports Medicine, who are going to, to come and, and announce our 16 Lindy Callahan Scholar Athlete Award winners for the 2011 and 12 school year. We do appreciate uh, Bank Plus and Mississippi Sports Medicine and Orthopedic and, and all of our funding partners that we've mentioned uh, already today and what you do for high school athletics and what you do for the young people in the state of Mississippi. Uh, you play a huge role in making great events like this happen, and we appreciate you very much. Gay, if you will, please get us started. Thank you. Thank you, Don. Good afternoon to everyone. I'll be announcing the honorees, and, and just like Coach Hinton just said, if, as I announce your name, if you'd please come forward for your photo. Our first honoree today is from District 1, Anna Watson. Anna can y'all hear me okay? <laughs> Anna Watson of Amory High School. Anna has a 3.96 grade point average. She ranks ninth in a class of 108 and scored 30 on the ACT. <clears throat> Anna participates in basketball, volleyball, track, and archery. Her other activities and accomplishments include Rural Medical Scholar, Heron Leadership Program, World Vision, and Toys for Tots. Anna plans to attend Mississippi State University or Mississippi University for Women. Mary Beth Black, her science teacher, said, Anna's most outstanding quality is her character, and she has set high moral standards for herself. Her coach, Coach Browning, stated, <clears throat> Anna is a great example for young girls on the team. She's a good leader and displays the very best attitude one could ask for. David Poss, her principal, wrote, Anna has a very quiet demeanor and rises above the crowd in a quiet and unassuming manner, someone who leads by example. In Anna's own words, basketball has taught me work ethic and accountability. I continue to learn more about myself and others through sports. Please join me in congratulating Anna Watson, a Lindy Callahan Scholar. Thank you, Mr. Hinton. It's uh, definitely an honor to be here and to be included in this program, and I thank everybody for coming, and congratulations to all the honorees. Our sec second honoree today from District 1 is Luke South of Tishomingo County High School in Iuka. Unfortunately, Luke is unable to be here today because of a scheduling conflict, but his brother, Jacob, 
would like to read a few words from the program when we're finished. Jacob, you can come on up. Luke has participated in track and field and football. He also is a standout in competitive air rifle shooting. His other activities and accomplishments include International Science and Engineering Fair finalist, 4-H, TCHS band, and Operation Christmas Child. Luke plans to attend the University of Kentucky where he compete for the air rifle team. His school director of bands, Libby Cunningham, says Luke is an outstanding band, band member and active in other school activities. Teacher Heather Cartwright wrote, Luke pours his soul into each and every assignment, meets challenges head on, and is a success in his class. Dr. Eddie Britton, Luke's principal, stated, Luke is an acad academically gifted student and will undoubtedly be successful in whatever challenges he pursues. Luke wasn't able to be here, so Jacob will say a few words. All right. He wrote, I am honored and grateful to have been chosen to receive this Lindy Callahan Athletic Scholarship. The competitive rifle shooting sports may be less pronounced and publicized in sports such as football or baseball, but the same athletic and sportsmanship qualities are present. He says, I began shooting competitive rifle in the local 4-H club in Tishomingo County. From there, he joined a local junior rifle team where he developed skills and advanced to the national level matches. Through his involvement in the sport, he learned and developed discipline, patience, responsibility, and confidence. His character traits have served him well and will continue to be an asset as he goes to the University of Kentucky this fall as he majors in mechanical engineering and a member of the UK rifle team. He appreciates the support of his principal, Dr. Eddie Britton, and the school, Tishomingo County High School, for recognizing his sport and his, its importance to his future as a competitive shooter at the collegiate level and hopefully one day the international level. He humbly apologizes for his absence today with the conflict of the Ole Miss Trebuchet Design and Operation Competition, which he is the team leader of. Thank you. Thank you. As each honoree is announced, I would like for them to announce their guest that came with them today. So I'm going to ask Anna, would you please tell us who's with you today? <clears throat> Jacob, could you tell us who's with you today? Thank you, Jacob. Thank you, Anna. <clears throat> Our next honoree is from District 2, Anna Lee Wilson. Anna, do you want to go in and announce your guests first? Uh, my superintendent, Mr. Milton Kirkendall. My volleyball coach, Ms. Jamie Cross. My principal, Corey Elkinson, and my father, Gary Cross. Thank you, Anna. <clears throat> Anna comes to us from DeSoto Central High School in South Haven. Anna Lee has a 4.2 grade point average, ranks 25th in a class of 400, and scored 30 on the ACT. She has participated in volleyball, fast pitch softball, and basketball. Anna Lee's other activities and accomplishments include National Honor Society, school journalism staff, and a crocheting project for a Memphis homeless shelter. She plans to attend the University of Mississippi. Her gifted AP English teacher, Kristen York, says, Anna Lee is one, of, is one of my best students. She is confident, focused, passionate, and thorough. Corey Osselton, Anna Lee's principal, wrote, She is a very successful student and has been involved in three different sports each year during high school. Coach Phyllis Jones, Anna Lee's commitment to working toward a common goal sets her apart. She excels in athletics as well as academics. In Annalee's own words, she says, 
<clears throat> in many years as an athlete, I have learned important life-changing lessons. Nothing comes easy. Grow from your mistakes, and life is, all not, is, is not always fair. Please join me in congratulating Anna Lee Wilson, a Lindy Hancock star. Our second honoree from District 2 is Andrew Mullen of Oxford High School. Andrew, would you like to introduce who's with you, please? Uh, these are my parents, Chris and Allison, and my brother, Alex, my tennis coach, Lewis Nash, and my athletic director, Doug. Thank you. Andrew has a grade point average of 4.36, ranks first in his class of 176, and scored a 34 on his ACT. He has participated in swimming and tennis. Andrew's other activities and accomplishments include National Merit Finalist, Wendy's High School Heisman State Finalist, Editor-in-Chief of the School Newspaper, and the All-State Orchestra Team. Andrew is interested in attending Princeton, Stanford, Duke, or Washington University in St. Louis. Mr. Martin, as principal wrote, as a humble young man, Andrew attributes his successes to to the dedicated people, uh, dedication of other people. Mr. Mo uh, his tennis coach, Lewis Nash, says, having known Andrew for the past six years, I've had the opportunity to watch him grow athletically, academically, and as a young man. His AP English teacher wrote, Joan McWestmoreland, uh, stated, Andrew is, of course, a teacher's dream. He is one of the best writers I have worked with and is equally gifted in reading and composition. In Andrew's own words, I have been exposed to a diverse range of challenges and have learned to effectively deal with difficult, difficulty through teamwork, dedication, and hard work. Please join me in congratulating Andrew Mullen, a Lindy Callahan Scholar Athlete for 2012. Our next honoree is from District 3, who is also an Anna. Anna Weiss of Cleveland High School. Anna, will you please announce your guest, please? Yeah, my superintendent, Jackie Bickman, my cheerleading coach, Henry Naren, my mom, Selena Weiss, and also my athletic director, my soccer coach, and my father, Steve. <laughs> Thank you, Anna. Anna Weiss of Cleveland High School. Anna has a 4.0 grade point average. She ranks first in a class of 100 and scored 24 on her ACT. She participates in soccer. Anna's other activities and accomplishments include cheer, student council president, girls state, and Habitat for Humanity. Her former principal, Robert Montesi, wrote, I have known Anna since the seventh grade and found her to be highly academic enthusiastic, and a leader on her athletic teams. Dee Dee Roberts, Anna's Spanish teacher, writes, she's an asset to our high school community and is known for her high academic performances as well as for the many activities in which she participates in. Her cheer coach, Memory Naren, says, I have known Anna since she was a young girl and have watched her grow into the leader of the, of the fine young lady she is today. In Anna's own words, Hours of practice, sweat, many bruises, and sometimes tears have encouraged me to put forth my best effort in everything I do. Please join me in welcoming Anna Weiss, a Lindy Callahan Scholar for 2012. Our second honoree from District 3 is Quentin Stevenson of Greenwood High School. Quentin, would you introduce your guest, please? Thank you. <clears throat> Quentin has a 4.6 grade point average, ranks first in the class of 122, and scored a 30 on the ACT. Quentin has participated in baseball, his other activities and accomplishments include Star Student, School Yearbook Staff, Student Government Association, and the Young Emerging Leaders of LaFleur County. Quentin is interested in attending Vanderbilt, Columbia, or Princeton. 
His principal, Percy Powell, says, Quentin balances many responsibilities as a Greenwood High School student with dedication and grace. Coach David McIntyre wrote about Quentin, he goes above and beyond what is expected from a player and student. English teacher Margaret Dean stated, Quentin exemplifies a great influence on his peers and leads the school to achieve academic <laughs> excellence. In Quentin's own words, I truly can say that athletics and activities have influenced my life greatly and the passions I discovered will last a lifetime. Please join me in congratulating Quentin Stevenson, a Lindy Callahan Scholar Athlete for 2012. Our next honoree is from District 4, Laurel Marsh. Laurel, would you introduce your guest, please? <laughs> Thank you, Laurel. Laurel comes today uh, to us from the Mississippi School for Math and Science in Columbus. Laurel has a 3.87 grade point average and scored 29 on the ACT. She has participated in cross country, soccer, basketball, softball, and track. Laurel's other activities and accomplishments include star student, robotics team, mu alpha theta tutor, and emissary for MSM, excuse me, MSMS. Laurel plans to attend Mississippi State University. Her science teacher and coach, W.R. Odom, says, Laurel understands the level of commitment required to maximize her educational experience and has taken full responsibility for her own education. Laurel's math teacher and coach, Lauren Zarandana, stated that Laurel does whatever is asked of her, even if she feels tired. Dr. Jermaine McDonald wrote, Laurel is a very talented athlete and excels because of her determination and hard work. She is well respected among her teammates. In Laurel's own words, all my coaches and teachers have been exceptional and have influenced me in a positive way. They, per they have personified the best characteristics of a leader. Please join me in congratulating Laurel Marsh, a Lindy Callahan Scholar Athlete. Our second honoree from District 4 is Brian Chu of Starkville High School. Brian, would you introduce your guest, please? Okay, um, my parents are here, Ray Ping Yuan and Jin Zong Chu, and here's my athletic director, Dr. Stan Miller, my tennis coach, Rob Pike, and my basketball coach, Greg Hunt. Thank you. <laughs> Brian has a 4.0 grade point average, ranks first in the class of 173, and scored a 35 on his ACT. Brian has participated in basketball and tennis. His other activities and accomplishments include national merit finalist, star student, presidential scholars program candidate, and the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Brian plans to attend Stanford University. His science teacher, Brenda S. Jackson, says, Brian's gentle confidence and concerns for others is evident in all tasks he undertakes. Rob Fike, his tennis coach, wrote, Brian's positive enthusiasm and, and fearless attitude is contagious. The demand he has of himself to improve is a rare observation of mine in today's society. His principal, Keith Fennell, stated that Brian's commitment, hard work, and sportsmanship have served as an example for his Yellow Jacket teammates to follow. In Brian's own, wor own words, I have learned how to better lead and motivate groups to use time more efficiently with their skills, and I have, I have acquired from athletics. Please join me in congratulating Brian Shu, a Lindy Callahan Scholar Athlete 2012. Thank you. Our next honoree is from District 5, Cecilia Lawn. Would you like to tell us who you have with you today? Um, 
Thank you, Cecilia. Okay, Cecilia has a 4.181 grade point average. She ranks fourth in a class of 141 of West Lauderdale High School in Collinsville. She scored a 29 on the ACT. She has participated in fast pitch softball, slow pitch softball, and basketball. Other activities and accomplishments include student council representative, fellowship of Christian athletes, nursing home volunteer, and National Young Leaders Conference. She plans to attend Huntington College in Alabama. Her softball coach said at West Lauderdale, Carl Luke says, Cecilia is an ultra competitive in her school work as well as athletically. Sandy Reed, her AP English teacher stated, she's genuine and has a great personality which allows her to motivate her team and her dedication to success has been evidence by numerous awards. Principal Kevin Cheatham wrote, her determination and drive to succeed in all entities is admired among her peers through campus. In Cecilia's own words, she says, I have learned to challenge myself to surpass even my own expectations and to never settle for mediocrity. Please join me in congratulating Cecilia Lawn, a Lindy Callahan Scholar Athlete. Our second honoree from District 5 is Mason Robertson of South Jones High School in Ellisville. Mason, would you introduce your guest, please? Um, yes, I have our supervising principal, Mr. Tommy Branch, and of course, my parents, um, Rhonda and Ronnie Robertson. Thank you. Mason has a 4.2195 grade point average, ranks fifth in the class of 161, and scored 31 on his ACT. Mason has participated in football and soccer. His other activities and accomplishments include star student, beta club president, boy state, and future leaders of Jones County. Mason plans to attend Mississippi State University. His supervising principal at South Jones, Tommy Branch, says, Mason is a wonderful student who is hardworking and responsible. He goes above and beyond any assignment given, and he has never been afraid of the challenge. Jennifer Robinson, AP calculus and algebra te teacher, wrote, Mason is a very successful person inside and outside of the classroom. He always gives 100%. Coach Matt Smith stated, Mason is a successful student in all walks of campus life. His success comes from the bright attitude and the desire to succeed that is within him. In Mason's own words, athletics was my beginning. It taught me about passion, determination, and self-motivation and how to be the best I can be in every area of my life. Please join me in congratulating Mason Robinson, a Linda Callahan Scholar Athlete 2012. Thank you, Mason. Our next honoree is from District 6, Riley Griffith of St. Aloysius High School in Vicksburg. Riley, would you introduce your guest? I have my parents, Cindy and Patrick Griffith, Athletic Director Jim Taylor, my principal Michelle Connolly, my teacher and soccer coach Susie Channel, and Superintendent Sister Deborah. Thank you, Riley. <clears throat> Riley has a 4.27 grade point average. She ranks second in a class of 39 and has scored 29 on the ACT. She has participated in soccer, track and field, and cross country. Riley, excuse me, Riley's other activities and accomplishment include Mu Alpha Theta, Environmental Club, Quiz Bowl, and Habitat for Humanity. Her principal at St. Aloysius is Michelle Connolly, and she says, Riley is a unique young lady who has found success as a student, Christian, and leader. Riley's theology teacher stated, Riley has always displayed a high degree of honesty, responsibility, creativity, and enthusiasm for life. She is an eager learner and thrives on challenges. Coach Suzanne Chanel wrote, Riley's drive is evident in her life. She demonstrates strong moral values on a daily basis and has a great work ethic. In Riley's own words, athletics, 
have made me more driven by teaching me never to settle for less than I have the ability to achieve and never quit until I reach my goal. Please join me in congratulating Riley Griffith, a Lindy Callahan Scholar. Our second honoree from District 6 is Jacob Files of Clinton High School. Jake, would you introduce your guest, please? Thank you. Jake has a 4.0 grade point average, ranked 6 in a class of 314, and scored a 36 on the ACT. Jake has participated in soccer and tennis. His other activities and accomplishments include star student, rural medical scholar, Mississippi Science Olympiad, and volunteer for Blair E. Batson Children's Hospital in Jackson. Jake plans to attend Millsaps College or the University of Alabama in Birmingham. His English teacher, Alex Davis Williams, says, Jake is a good guy. He follows the rules. He does the best that he, can, that he can in every possible situation. Jake pushes himself to go beyond expectation and raises the bar for himself. Principal Eddie Passant stated, Jake is a very determined and responsible young man and always responsible, repre I'm sorry, always represents Clinton High School in a very positive manner. Coach Jeff Long wrote, Jake has exemplified the utmost character and integrity of a member of a team. In Jake's own words, I learned from my parents that hard work was important and have used this truth to achieve other goals in my life. Please join me in congratulating Jake Files, the Lindy Callahan Scholar Athlete for 2012. Thank you, Jake. Our next honoree is from District 7, Jordan Nettles. Jordan, would you please introduce your guest? Okay. Um, I have my parents, Ronnie and Rosie Nettles, uh, my soccer coach, Albert Brown, our athletic director, Tommy Clopton, and our principal, Ronald Greer. Thank you, Jordan. <laughs> Jordan is from Wesson Attendance Center. She has a 4.0 grade point average and ranks second in a class of 72 and scored 30 on the ACT. She has participated in soccer and tennis. Jordan's other activities and accomplishments include National Merit Finalist, Students Against Drunk Driving President, Brookhaven Little Theater, and Girl State Delicate. Her principal at Wesson, Ronald Greer, says, Jordan is a very courteous and respectful young lady. She has been a true leader on our campus. Science teacher April Clopton wrote, Jordan is an outstanding student and a well-rounded young lady. She excels in her high school coursework, and I look forward to seeing what the future holds for her. Coach Albert Brown stated, Jordan relentlessly demonstrated a notable desire for self-improvement, social awareness, and credible accomplishments. In Jordan's own words, she says, Throughout my six years of varsity soccer, I have become more confident, learned about the importance of staying positive, and met some of the best friends of my life. Please join me in congratulating Jordan Nettles, a Lindy Callahan Scholar Athlete for 2012. Our second honoree from District 7 is Colton Welch of West Lincoln High School. Colton, would you please stand and introduce your guest, please. Thank you, Colton. <laughs> Colton has a 4.1 grade point average, rank, ranks first in the class of 34, and scored a 34 in the ACT. He has participated in cross country. His other activities and accomplishments include national merit finalist, class president for four straight years, math science team, and volunteer at an orphanage in Ecuador. Colton has considered several universities for his uh, school of choice next fall. 
but still hasn't determined which one. His math teacher and coach, Greg Allen, says, Colton has exhibited to others his hard work, determination, willpower, and endurance. His leadership and positive attitude will greatly be missed. Principal Jason Case wrote, Colton is a hard worker both on the field and in the classroom. Andrew Redd, athletic director, stated, Colton has been a steady and consistent athlete and student and has maintained his grades while participating in sports. In Colton's own words, cross country has taught me an invaluable lesson that I have to be responsible to both myself and those around me to always strive to do the very best regardless of the challenges. Please join me in congratulating Colton Welch, Lindy Callahan Scholar, Athlete for 2012. Thank you, Colton. Our next honoree is from District 8, Elizabeth Moore. She comes to us from Pass Christian High School. Thank you, Elizabeth. She has a 4.169 grade point average, ranks first in a class of 130, and scored 31 on the ACT. She has participated in soccer and track and field. Her other activities and accomplishments include student body president, girl state, Hugh O'Brien youth leadership ambassador, and Red Cross volunteers. She plans to attend the University of Mississippi. Her principal at Pass Christian, Kathy Broadway, says, Elizabeth is intelligent, hardworking, and a well-rounded young lady who has demonstrated a commitment to our school. She has many talents that she helps work hard to develop. Coach Ellen Felder wrote, Elizabeth is a real leader. Her motivation is unwavering. Her can-do spirit and her personality and her teammates always are looking up to her. Social studies teacher Melissa Harris states, Elizabeth has a natural capacity for academic excellence. She is exceptionally gifted, hardworking, and goal-oriented. In Elizabeth's own words, she says, Sports have given me the skills necessary to succeed in school and in life. I have learned the importance of teamwork, cooperation, and never giving up. Please join me in congratulating Elizabeth Moore, a Lindy Callahan Scholar Athlete for 2012. Our 16th and final honoree today comes from District 8, Alex Hem of Long Beach High School. Alex, would you introduce your guest, please? I'd like to introduce my athletic director, Terry Yandlow, my principal, Peter Dowds, my assistant coach, Sandra Bodden, my mom, and you have my grandfather, Ray Peel. Thank you. <laughs> Alex has a 5.360 grade point average, ranks third in a class of 205, and also scored a 36 on his ACT. He is lettered in tennis and basketball and participated in football. Alex's other activities and accomplishments include National Merit Finalist, Star Student, Mu Alpha Theta President, and Student Council Executive Secretary. His advanced chemistry teacher, Marilyn Frank, says, Alex's analytical skills coupled with his common sense makes him an instructor's dream but his extremely likable personality makes him everyone's friend. Coach Sandra Boddy stated, Alex's successes in life are due to his ability to do his best while enjoying himself and being a good sport. Peter Dabbs, principal, wrote, Alex is respectful and courteous and is an asset to the school, school community. He has a strong, supported family that has instilled morals and character. In Alex's own words, Dedication is perhaps the most valuable thing I have learned from sports. Practices are not always easy. Life is not always easy either. I know that it takes hard work to be successful. Please join me in congratulating Alex Hamm, a Lindy Callahan Scholar Athlete from 2012.
We want to thank uh, Gay and Mike uh, for helping us with that. We appreciate that. That's a great job. Once again, we'd like to acknowledge these 16 fine, outstanding young people. Would you stand again? Let's give them a big hand. <laughs> Please stand. We will look at you again. Thank you. Great. It gives me great pleasure to be able to introduce Coach Lindy Callahan. We're going to ask him to come and say a few words. Coach Lindy Callahan. Thank you, Don. In my closing remark, they will be brief and sincere. And thank you, Don, for those kind words that you said earlier. First, I'm always amazed uh, of the compliments that you have made in athletics and classroom. I am proud to be able to congratulate such an outstanding group of scholar-athletes. The criteria for this award tells it all. Academics, participation in sports, and involvement in school and community. In order to accomplish any of these, you must have what I call the three Ds. Desire, dedication, and determination. <laughs> what I call the three D's, excuse me. These qualities will take you a long way in life and help make you a success in whatever you do. They put you a step above and will be a defining factor as your journey through life. Your parents, coaches, and school administrators share this in honor with you. It is a reflection on each of them and their efforts to guide you on the right path and a help along the way. I, I wish you the very best for each of you, a life filled with blessings from above, happy and fruitful times, and smooth sailing along the way. <clears throat> I'm going to repeat some of Don's remarks earlier. Don always covers all the bases, but I will add a few things to this. On behalf of of the present scholar athletes and the past and the recipients and myself. I wish to thank all of those who have worked so hard to make this award luncheon such a success. First, I must mention and thank my great friend and associate, associate Dr. Ennis Proctor and his wife Judy, who is here today, who initiated this award 17 years ago, 17 years. Don had said early, it brings the total to 272 scholars, athletes. And to be honored in such a hard to imagine this luncheon without him being here. Second, thanks to our funding partners. I had sponsored Don, but I like the word. Without this award, it would not be possible to look out there and offer the artists and see so many of you familiar faces. Many have been uh, with us long since the inception of this award. Regardless, we offer you our sincere appreciation. <clears throat> and to the MSSA staff who have worked countless hours to make this all come together. They have processed and coordinated all these applications and to be commended for the outstanding job that they have done. They know how much I love them and appreciate each one of them. And I want them to know how efficient and educated, dedicated that you are. The selection committee, these men and women have taken the, from their job to travel to Clinton to serve on the committee to select 16 scholar athletes from a field of 305. They have spent hours pouring over applications to select the most deserving applicant. Thank you so very much. I attend all those meetings. I know what a process it is in going through and picking 16 of the best. The officers of the MSAA and association are not to be overlooked. <clears throat> of working together to make this association the very best it can be, and they were introduced earlier. Thanks to my good friend, Don Hinton. Very good friend who was selected last year as director of the Hacktivity Association. Don breaks to the association professionalism, enthusiasm, dedication, leadership skills, and commitment that will go a long way toward making this job successful. 
You're doing a great job, Don. In closing, I want to thank Deborah and Todd for the, uh, the, the uh, yeah the program that they had. They're going to do it a little later, and then a disc that they're going to make, and the work they have spent on this a lot of time. And also, which Ann was mentioned earlier, I met Ann at Ole Miss when she was a sophomore and I was a senior. I picked her up. 50, I didn't pick her up. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> she was in the post office, and I dropped a letter and to get her attention. But we've had a wonderful life and a great journey in our life, and we, I appreciate her and love her so much. She's my life. I love her. To all of you, have a very safe trip home. Thank you. Ms. Joyce Lane, if you will come, and uh, she's going to talk to us a little bit about our scholarships. Good evening. Ms. Chapman, as I was waking, making my way to the podium, I could not stop but, and think about something that you as parents must feel. I'm a parent. I'm a grandparent. And I know that if this was my daughter or my son, I'd be bringing back so many memories of my mind. I'd be thinking about the day they were born. I would be thinking about how special you were to me the day you were born. And then I'd be thinking about these wonderful accolades that this student, your daughter, your son, has received today. One of the most prestigious scholarships that Mississippi High School Activities gets, gives. And we're so proud, so proud that your daughter or your son has been the recipient of that scholarship. Coaches, athletic directors, I don't know if you watched when these students introduced you, the pride they felt, the pride they felt that you had been their coach and that you had made been a part of making this possible for them today. And so, Steve, I know you're a daddy. I know you're a coach, but I saw a look in that daughter's eyes today, as well as I did and the young man that introduced Dr. Stan Miller too. So it was just it was just radiant. Thank you for being here. Thank you for producing your daughter, your your son, and making our job as educators just absolutely the most magnificent anywhere. I'm here to talk with you very simply because we want to make the processing of your son or daughter scholarship a very simple process. So you were given a packet when you were, had your pictures made of this process application. You have a one-page form. All you will need to do for this scholarship to be sent to your college, and that will be sent by Mississippi High School Activities directly to the college of your student's choice, is to complete this form that's in this packet, attach a class registration, mail it to me or fax it to me. I have my business card in this packet, so if you have any questions or if you lose this form, by the time that school starts in July, August, you call me, we'll be more than happy to send you another form. Occasionally, we do have students that receive so many scholarships that you need to put something on hold for another year. Please know we will work with you. We want to see this, scholarship, this student get this scholarship within their four years of their program, and we'll be more than happy to work with you if you need to put that on hold. I will need a written letter from you each year telling me to please hold it forward to the next year. Any questions, feel free to call me. And again, congratulations. Congratulations to each of you. Thank you so much, Ms. Lane. I do want to remind uh, our scholar athletes that uh, after the, this banquet is concluded, you'll have your picture made. Mr. Todd Kelly at the end of this table will direct you. I'll give you directions for the pictures. Uh, student athletes, you know, you've set the bar high yourselves. You've set a high bar to obtain, to obtain. But if you'll carry with you the qualities in your future endeavors, the qualities mm -hmm of Lindy Callahan and the qualities that we read and are reading here in this program, if you'll carry with you those qualities and wherever you go and whatever you do, you're going to be successful out there in life. You set those goals and you strive to attain. You seek that excellence and you be all that you can be. 
This concludes our banquet. We thank everyone for coming today, and please have a safe trip home. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Great job. Miss Ann, did you get you a few of these programs? Well, I might say one. So I'm sure he's great for picture.